lab focuses on energy management, operational efficiency, and consistency. The goal is to successfully pick up and deliver cargo while meeting the operational requirements and design constraints. There were several designs made. Each team member created an orthographic drawing with dimensioning of what design they thought would be most efficient. Drawings were sketched, edited, and resketched. Concept scoring methods were then used by the team to quantitatively organize and narrow down the features that would be implemented in the final design. The program used to make the vehicle function used our Arduino programming system. Our specific code consisted mostly of if statements and while loops to specify the distance our AAV moved. Wind tunnel testing was performed in order to test which propeller length was most efficient, which we found to be the 3-inch propellers. AEV is an acronym for Advanced Energy Vehicle. It is a small, propeller-driven vehicle weighing under 500 grams. In this lab, it is suspended from a monorail and maneuvers along this based on programming from an Arduino Nano and motor controllers. Trial and error was also prevalent in our program. Programs were written, tested on the track, and then rewritten. There were quite a few obstacles faced throughout the course of this lab. The whole course, but the caboose unattaches for the fourth part of the track. Following with the battery, it is running a different speed every time or a different position, and then we have to update our code every time. So it's a good day today. A lot of Our final design used two motors and was made out of a light styrofoam body. It did not have any wings as we didn't want to add any unnecessary weight. We're efficient! Through all the obstacles we faced, we learned vital problem solving skills and how to work as a team. floors, the 